In this video, I'm going to give you the dropshipping tips that can help you to get sales without money on your Shopify dropshipping store. So the first activity you need to do is you need to contact influencers on Instagram and strike a deal with them so that you give them a percentage of the profit when someone purchases from their link. So once you start reaching out to influencers asking them to partner with you and advertise your product and you're going to cut them a percentage of the sale some of them will actually be refusing but you need to start sending a lot of reach out emails or cold emails so the essence of getting maybe an influencer to agree to this it will be for up to you to send a huge number of emails or DM the influencers but as you know on Instagram you can only DM a certain number so the email is the go-to tool for you to use to send out the cold emails and once you do send out a cold email it's a little bit more realistic and it looks more real than sending a DM so you want to go with the email route which is going to be simple so you can search for templates on uh, Google on how to send a cold email to an influencer and uh, pitch your product and pitch your idea and uh, be waiting for them to maybe reply to your email and see if they are going to agree to your proposal now the good thing about this is you have nothing to lose once you send out that email because if you do not send that email you still do not get that partnership if they say no to your email or if to your proposal then you've still not gotten that partnership or that advertising route so it's still nothing to lose for you but if they do agree then you'll be on the winning side so you need to also be sure to only email the influencers that are within the niche you are selling your products on so if you are selling a makeup product then you need to email or reach out to an influencer who posts about makeup or who is also in the same niche of the makeup or the beauty products so that he or she is able to understand your point and your proposal and the product you are selling so pick out the influencers in accordance to the niche that your product is actually selling in so also what you can do for the influencer once they do agree to your proposal you need to add an affiliate marketing tool to your website so you can add a plugin or you can add an app that allows the influencer to join your website or your shopify dropshipping store as an affiliate marketer whereby he or she is going to get a dashboard that is going to tell the influencer how many clicks his uh, link that he shares maybe in, on his uh, instagram stories or uh, on his link in bio how many link clicks that his or her link is actually getting onto your website so once you do give them this access they'll be able to get a dashboard that is going to highlight the total number of sales the total number of add to cards the total number of conversions so that he or she is able to see the exact amount that the affiliate link is making so the good thing about this is uh, the influencer will see if uh, the proposal the partnership you are doing is actually profitable so if uh, maybe the influencer sees that the partnership is profitable and the link is getting sales and the product you both are partnering on is actually getting sales then the influencer can also decide to be part and parcel of this product for the long term or maybe for an extended period and in that you'll be getting free advertisement and also the influencer can help pitch to other influencers that they are maybe in the same circle and you'll also get some extra people who will be assisting you to promote your product so you want to reach out to these influencers and they'll be sure to partner with you once the proposal is good to them so in terms of the percentage you can work out a 40 60 percent whereby you keep 60 percent and you keep 60 percent and the influencer keeps 40 percent so sometimes the influencer would want to push for a 50 50 but it's also a nice deal because you're not paying anything you're just giving out 50 percent of the percentage profit so remember it's not 50 50% of the entire revenue is 50% of the profit so you are still not making losses actually you'll be in the money once you do get 
a good influencer to partner with so the second dropshipping tip of how to get sales without money is to go into facebook groups within your store niche and uh, promote your product now remember the bad thing about this is uh, you'll maybe likely get banned from uh, the facebook group that you're going to pitch your product so what you can do is maybe you can build out your own group and start adding members to this group and since maybe you will be the admin of the group or you're the one who started the group then you'll have the freedom to post the links and your product so maybe if you can launch a group create a group and maybe have people start joining the group and the good thing is you'd want the people who are joining the group to be people who are probably interested in the product you're selling or they are in the niche of the product you're selling so this is going to make it easier for you to promote this product and to convince these people who have joined your group to buy your products so remember if you join any random group and just post links you'll absolutely be kicked out of the group so if you want to go this route what you can do is you join these groups and first provide value give value to the group maybe you can start by advising you can start by maybe commenting and sharing feedback on items that have been inquired or asked in the group and once people see that you're providing value in the group then they'll be sure to check out any product you pitch to them so start by first giving value before you start by posting links because you'll be kicked out so this is a method you can follow and you'll be able to get sales without actually advertising so the last tip is post your store links under a niche specific product or specific subreddits so you can go to reddit and as you know reddit runs the internet you can go to reddit and check on important subreddits that are affiliated to your niche or subreddits that are in the niche that you are currently in so also as this one as well you have to first offer value to the subreddit that you've joined so you just can't go and start posting links into the subreddit so you first have to go in there offer value answer questions answer items that have been asked there first give value you can maybe start your own subreddit first give value and once people have joined your subreddit then you can start pitching your product then afterwards people will be able to check your product because they are seeing that you are offering value first and with this value that you've given you become an expert in that specific niche and people will be sure to check out the product you're pitching to them because the answers you've been given to aspects that have been asked or questions that have been asked are very very helpful to many so you first have to give value then post your products and people will be sure to check them out so those are basically the three dropshipping tips that you can use to get sales without money on your shopify dropshipping store so remember you can also start an e-commerce store on catlist.com so check out catlist.com link in the description you can start an e-commerce store for absolutely free for the first seven days and after the seven days then you can pick a paid plan starting from 29 dollars